All right, guys. Uh, so just, I, m- I might just clarify how we get past this top. This is probably the area, I have, which is actually the most difficult part of it. Okay, so getting past this this top leg. All right. So I want to. It's not. I don't get past the leg by by trying to run around it necessarily. Um, yeah, or even if you just follow with the knee shield, it, it can be okay. But I actually want to stay a little more square on. Drop my. I'm still in a tripod, but I kind of like drive my chest down here. Okay. So lift your knee high. Okay, that's difficult. I'm still blocking the bottom leg, and I can kind of like step my knee over the the top leg open first. So see, I've captured that knee. So now if he tries to pull his knee to his chest. Uh, he, that's blocked. Okay, and then when I drop my, basically once I've got that, I can start looking to take my head out as I drop my head. Uh, sorry, drop my knee out, and that will. I kind of know that, I just know that because I've caught his top knee, when I drop my knee, I'll also be blocking his, his, his bottom knee. And then my hand will go from the knee, usually just to a, I actually put it like a near underhook. It's mostly to stop him pushing my knee. Okay. So when I change here, I have my hand here, if he tries to push my knee, my arm is away. Okay. Uh, out here, he might push my knee. So, right here, tripod. Um, guys, a little more detail on this. So you want to hold their knee. If you want to free your foot, you want to hold their knee and use your knee to straighten their leg. Okay, he can't hook my foot now. Try and hook my foot. Right. If I allow his knee to move up, so if I try and flick off, I'll pull your knee to your chest even. Like, I'm going to miss that, I can't flick over. So I need to hold that back. And if I allow him to curl his knee, I can't flick off either. Okay. I need to use my leg to straighten his leg, leg like this. I come on that side. So we're not trying to run in front necessarily, more like stepping knee over the top, start dropping it down. Posting underneath, near side I look near the arm, changing your head to the other side. Like this. Okay. I'll keep my knee tight, keep walking the hip. So we'll keep going with that, we're just going to add one extra layer of difficulty. Uh, something called Z guard, which is actually when people lock their feet. Like this. Actually, let me just show that one. I'll just put my feet this way. So to do Z guard, it's basically the same as a knee shield. We just have to go for the knees now. I'm going to have my right leg very deep, okay, so my foot's poking through a lot. I'll put my other knee as a knee shield, and then I'll cross my feet like that. It's like reinforcing my top leg. Okay. Now, this is a stronger, because it's a closed loop, I've now like, just like in closed guard, how that's strong compared to your legs being open, I've done something similar with my legs here. Okay. Now just make sure, the person on the bottom when you're doing this, your knee is deep, like this. You won't be able to lock your feet if your foot's here. Okay. Or at least, you won't be able to get the knee shield, you better cross your feet, you have to open your knee. I need my inside leg deep and my top knee shallow. If it's, or at least somewhat shallow. If it's too deep with my top knee, I can't cross either. It needs to be somewhere in between. So, Rory's going to do that on me. He puts his right leg deep, puts his other knee shield, and then he crosses his feet with the one in front coming to the, like it kind of, uh, the, where you put your feet doesn't matter. So, this one that's on top goes the furthest away, so we can back heel with that and put pressure. Okay. So from here, it's going to be very hard to flick my foot out, right? So I first need to break the Z guard and then uh, free. Right. I'm going to break it just by basically prying his feet open. So his feet are locked here. By putting pressure on his knees, hold that tight. By putting pressure down here, I'm going to open his feet. Okay, make sense? By putting pressure on his knee at the front, it will pry the feet open, and then I can do the move I did before. To put pressure, we use our tripod, okay? So, Rory's locked his feet here, and now in half guard, I'm on my knees. I'm gonna get the hip grip, I'm gonna come up into a tripod, I'm gonna pull the knees together, and I'm gonna start to do it, like, see how my knees bent? I'm not full tripod yet, but I start straightening my leg out and pulling my chest down. Make sense? that from the other side. The person on bottom is going to do 
Sit good. Good. Sit good. I'm gonna get the hip, my head's gonna go similar spot. I'm gonna pull the knees together, so actually pull the bottom one upwards as I do this. I come up, and as I straighten my legs, I pull my chest in. Where are you gonna do one? So person on bottom. Now, so person on top on your knees, person on bottom, we're gonna do Z guard. We're gonna lock our feet. All right, we're always gonna grip my hip, head to my shoulder, he's gonna pick up my knee, he's gonna straighten his leg as he drops his chest down. Okay, from here, he flicks outside the legs, comes over the top, goes near the armpit, and passes. Let's go. Three, two, one.